leader. Minnesota sports leader is FM 100.3 KFXN Minneapolis St. Paul. The fan. The Power Hour is live. KFAN.com slash watch is where you can find it. You can watch all of our broadcasts on our YouTube page. All thanks to Quantum Fiber. Your world unleashed. Hi, everybody. We're waving at you now. Good morning. Hey, Saucer. Yeah, Daddy. Is your computer turned on? Yeah. Go to uh, YouTube.com. All right. You familiar with it? Yes, sir. Type in the words... Darkness, D A R K N E S S. Yep. Of O F. Man, M A N. The trailer? Yeah, click on that. Oh, hell yeah. That's right. Oh, God. How good does it look, Hawk? Did you watch it? It looks like the greatest film of all time. Yeah, it's a Van Damme film. <laughs> it's the He's latest back, from right? Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, hell yeah. They done pissed off the wrong guy. Yeah, they after the wrong Marine. They did. Right? Yep. Now, I don't know what's going on with his hair. It looks like he's wearing a hat, but it's hair. Yeah, that's um, a, yeah, that's his new bit. That's his. Look at his ears. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh don't he's do outside. it. Yep. Somebody body. Oh yeah. Yeah, they pissed off the wrong guy. Yeah, this is gonna be great. And he he punches guys in throats. Yep. Um, he breaks their hands and stuff. Yeah. This he, is gonna be. He's so jumping good. off of cars. And and he jumps off cars and he and he kicks a lot of a words. But then as he's walking down the sidewalk, it looks like he needed help getting out of a chair. Yeah. <laughs> he's looking for some lady who's been kidnapped. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, oh he's going to kick some ass. JCVD. This is going to be. Oh, yeah. Of course. You're in? We're going to go You're see in? this, right, Hogs? You're damn right we are. Maybe yeah. we'll get a screening like we did. Yeah, how great. I yeah, mean, this is. JCVD. This might win an Oscar. I know. He basically kills all of Russia. Yeah. <laughs> he's pissed, man. Yeah, well, he's pissed. These guys have guns. The guns don't matter. Yeah, that. Uh, what are they gonna yeah, do? Yeah, he's got guns. Yeah. They brought guns to a Jean Claude Van Damme fight. Yeah, what man, they he's badass. Bullets the muscles from Brussels. Him. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh Ben. They yeah. Trash his apartment, Hawk. I know. How dare they? Uh, have you seen the the latest Roadhouse film yet, Ben? No, I've not seen the latest film yet. It's the greatest film of all time. Is it? Yeah. Until JCVD's movie comes oh, out. Oh my. And Kong vs. Godzilla comes out. Oh, that's the day, baby. It yeah. doesn't have any ratings yet. Yeah, it doesn't have any ratings yet because there's nothing bigger than 100, and yeah. they want to give it more than that. Well played. <laughs> yeah, they're waiting for Matt to invent a new number. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is, gets infinity thumbs up. Yeah, are you going to see it today? <laughs> I can't because i got to do stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're busy Wait, the next 24 hours. they don't know it's hours. Kong vs. Godzilla day? Yeah, I know. I know. God, this looks so good. Doesn't oh, it look so good? A, looks the, to be a sex scene. Uh huh. Well, hey. of course there are. It's JCVD. Oh, I thought you were talking Kong versus Godzilla. I mean, there might Man, be. That would be great. I'd I watch that. So. I really hope so. It's time for Fan 5, months. brought to you by Builders and Remodelers. Hey, thanks, Builders and Remodelers. Today's yeah. the day. Even though about nine months ago, the Padres and Dodgers played in Korea and kicked off the Major League Baseball season, it feels like it was weeks ago. Uh, the actual season for the Twins starts today. Season opener in Kansas City at 310. Yes, The sir. home opener one week from today. And uh, um, what is the spilled grain? Is that what he called it? Where Boney's at today? Does anybody know? Oh, oh yeah. Where I, forgot, the party is. I forgot what he said. I wrote it down, but then I threw that piece of paper away. Just throw a dart at a bar. You'll find Yeah, Johnny it. Bones is doing a party today, man. They're having a big party. Twins are minus 115 on the money line, and the over-under is eight runs today against the Kansas City Chiefs. So the uh, the Twins are favored. But again, they're favored to win the division. Damn right. The division sucks. What's that, Ben? Can we do uh, two little cleanups? Um, Please. So Kansas City Royals, real quick, not, not Kansas City Chiefs. What did I say? Did I say oh, Chiefs? Yeah. Wait, wait, awesome. wait. Whoa. Yep, yep. yep. Got nice catch. Em. No, no. That feels good. But I was going to say before before that little little mess up, uh, you guys didn't correct me on the kickoff thing? I didn't. Thank, I, thank you, you for wrong? the guys on, on, on X for correcting well, me. That we, they can't I, move? Yeah, they can't move. We I, thought you, I thought you knew yeah. that, but I, didn't, I just I didn't want to I didn't want to step in and correct former no, NFL no, 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 linebacker no, Ben no, Lieber but, on the rules, but I no, I, but I, I did catch that. So that they're not allowed to until he catches the ball. Only the kicker right. and the receiver can move before yeah, the ball gets I, in their hands, I believe. Look, yeah, I did not I did I missed that detail. So uh yeah. Just rewind and backpedal and everything that I was saying earlier about the sky kicks and all that stuff because it doesn't matter. Did I not see. realize okay. that they can't they yep. can't even move until the receiver the the returner catches the ball. So thank you for the uh, the correction. I'm on, sorry I didn't catch online. that. Yeah, and and Maxo anytime anytime 
like you're not going to hurt my feelings if I exactly if I have the corrections wrong are the right way to go. Yeah, because the listeners are catching it. I, I yeah. disagree. Don't please don't. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway, twins today though. Um, so what, what did we say? Eighty six and a half is the over under on DraftKings. Eighty six and a half. I take the under. I don't know. So if you take the under though, then are you also saying that you believe somebody else will snipe the division? No. No, I think they so still think they're going to be around 500 and win yeah. the division. Yep. The division's hideous. Hideous. Horrible. It is a it was a red carpet to the playoffs. You are correct. Well, bitching. Let's, so why let's would they jump spend on money. that train? Okay, so we're all thinking the over then. Man. I mean, I'll put a hundy on it. They got to 87 bet. last year. You take the over? No, he yeah. wants the under. Oh, you want the over? I'll take the over. All right, I'll take the under. Corey, could you see them going over, under? Oh, here it goes. I mean, the over-under is 86 and a half. Would I be surprised if they got to 88? No. <laughs> could I maybe see them squeezing out one more win and getting 89? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> uh, Johnny Bones, opening day watch party at Forgotten Star. That's what it is. Forgotten mm-hmm. Star. So stop on oh, by. And, ironic, uh, huh? Oh. What do you think? Oh, Great point. Benjamin. <laughs> well, you guys can uh, remember. Yes. Ice Cube's Big Three League has offered Caitlin Clark $5 million. Oh, that's cool, man. Uh, he Go said, quote, we intended the offer to remain private while Caitlin Clark plays for the championship, but I won't deny what's now already out there. Cube thinks that it is possible for Caitlin Clark to play in both the WNBA and the Big Three. I think some people around the WNBA aren't so sure that there may be some stipulations in the WNBA that you can't mm. do both. Here's why this is insane and why this is when you just like dismiss it and go, well, she's not going to do that. She's going to be the, the number one pick in the WNBA. She's not going to the Ice Cube's big three to play against dudes, right? Five million. Rookie salaries for picks one through four in the WNBA. The, the first year. She would make seventy six thousand dollars. Right. It, by year four, it goes all the way up to ninety seven thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. I mean, she has to seriously consider this. Yes. Do both. I, I, why couldn't she do both? Could if she, she both could do both, both? If she, why would she? If she, she do can both? do both, it's right. a home run. 100%. If she can't, if the WNBA says you can't do both, it's got to be either the big three or us. You can't do both. Do the big three. It is so yes. much more money to go to the big yeah. three yeah. and. I think she would prove against dudes shooting translates. Yeah. Yeah. If you can get her open, she's going to hit threes against dudes, too. Yeah. That ball's going to fall no matter what. Well, and the merch would just go crazy. That'd be great. And I, I, yeah. I don't see why they would. I mean, they let the, the women play overseas in other leagues and stuff like that during right. the offseason. So I don't see why they would. There may be stipulations. So I, I would argue, though, in the big three, I, I don't know what size ball they That's, would be. That was using. my question. That was going to be my question. Don't know. Is like, do, there is still a difference between. Yeah. The women's ball and the men's ball. The, the men's no ball is slightly larger. Yep, wasn't that yeah. one of the big complaints about the uh, the shootout between that's Ionescu yeah, that's and, right. yeah. Yeah. and Curry? It's, well, NBA line or WNBA line? NBA ball or WNBA ball? Even so, the freaking skill translates. We'd have to figure that out, yeah. but how do you pass up five I, the million? Thing, the, yeah. She's playing like 40-year-old Richard Lewis. <laughs> like yeah. People like that, yeah. so she would absolutely go Hawks crazy. Favorites. He was really yeah. great. It yeah. is one of those things, though, that I... You're thinking I of can... Richard Lewis, R.I.P. <laughs> oh, buddy. I don't think that I could, ju- I could jump on that thing right now and say it absolutely Butler. translates. Because it, if it, she has to use not. a men's ball and she has to continuously shoot from NBA three range, right. I don't think it always translates. Maybe not. And I think there is already a couple women in the big three. I know there's some that coach, but I think that I think Lisa Leslie plays in the big three as well. I think I think there are some women. So maybe it could just kick off a whole big three women's thing. I mean, three on three basketball is an Olympic sport now. So is it really? Well, yeah. Son. Well, and how about how about here's the here's the other idea if you're Caitlin Clark wouldn't you have to think of all right it's not like the WNBA is going away if I join the big three for a couple of years and it doesn't work it's a fallback I, I think the WNBA yeah. said would would say yeah. welcome back for like correct. feel free to walk through the door yeah, so why wouldn't you correct. take the money giant life changing money what's the biggest, money. Is, biggest exposure from a marketing standpoint though. Well, because that's where she's going to make. She's going to make all her most, money. The most of her money in her career is going to come from endorsements. Yes, yeah. she might get that regardless of where she goes. Yes, you think so? As yes. long as she stays yeah. a notable name, I don't think Gatorade cares if she's playing in the WNBA or the Big Three. As long as she's still uh, a factor in the social space where people Maybe. are talking about her, debating her, 
I think they just want her to be noteworthy. Well, well if you're the WBA, uh, rewrite the rules. Yeah. <laughs> if the right, rules say correct. she can't do it, then rewrite the freaking right. rules because yes, you want Caitlin Clark in your league. Yep. Yep. And I'll tell you, man, uh, I don't know if it would be more than two or three weeks, but if she went to the big three, we'd talk about it on this show. I can't t- tell you for sure if she plays for Connecticut in the WNBA, we'll mention it. Well, that's the thing. This is, you know, she, the uh, the Indiana yeah. fever, Hot the knows. first pick in the draft. This feels like this should have been the year. This is the Minnesota sports thing. This should have been the year. The Lynx have the number one pick, and Caitlin Clark is slated to come to us. Correct. But Thank then you. she turns us down and goes to the big three. Correct. No, yeah. That would have been Classic the Minnesota. most Minnesota thing of all time. So yep. if it happens to Indiana, screw them. Yeah, screw them. Who cares? Mm-hmm. I don't care about the fever. She can yeah. do both. Well, yeah, and, and then, and then she could re-enter. I don't know how it would work, but maybe she can re-enter the draft, and then the Lynx could get her. Yeah. The Lynx are her favorite team. Yeah, right. Do both. Let her do both. Yeah, she right. has said that. that Use that Lynx common squad. sense. Once that, in your life. That Link yeah. squad, the the championship teams, those are all of her idols. She's mentioned yep. Waylon and Maya Moore, Augustus yeah. and Maya Moore and all that stuff. She loves that squad. Oh, oh man. man. She did. Man. So, yeah, go play for the big three for a couple of years and come, yeah. play, come play at Target Center. Yeah, well, no, you get no, to hang out with Ice Cube. Yeah. And Ice Alan Cube, Iverson. Wales. That's pretty sweet. We mean, Clubbing is a great tune. Oh, such a bad Oh, it wails. Cool. $76,000 for the number one pick. A generational talent like Caitlin Clark, and if she takes that deal, I'm never going to financially recover. Okay, that's, not, that's not endorsements and sponsorships yeah. and stuff, but that's just the league pays her $76,000. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think of how that's many sad. people that are listening right now that make $76,000. They're not a generational talent. They just have good jobs. No. Why yeah. You, why are you going to make fun of us? I'm not making fun of you. I'm just saying, I'm saying <laughs> $76,000 is, is a, an attainable number no, for yeah, a for lot sure. of people listening. Yeah. Uh, you know, none of us expect number one pick in the NFL or Not NBA money, but WNBA. I know. <laughs> and she made what, six K five mil this year. Is that what they said? Maybe an NIL. I think I saw I three re- to five or yeah, something was the five. projection. Yeah. Yep. Well, and even just looking at these salary cap hits, like the highest one right now is two hundred and forty one thousand. Why? I don't, I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> Paul, your uh, hands up. The projected contract, this is from last year, for the number one pick in the 2023 NFL draft. Two billion, seven hundred million. <laughs> Close. Forty-one million with a signing bonus of approximately twenty-six million. Yep. It's for the first pick in the NFL draft. I love that. Lieber, you've had workout <laughs> bonuses that are more than Caitlin Clark's freaking first year salary. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Yes. Yep. And anyway. Yep. Uh, interesting i'd love it how about yeah. how about just bigger picture the fact that she has so much leverage and options good for her that's how far mm-hmm. women's sports have come for sure it's yeah. not perfect right i know marnie talks about the travel accommodations all the time in the wnba how they still can't get it right and they it's still nice. feel like you know mm-hmm. a third world country compared to uh, all these other uh pro sports but still she has a lot of options well, and yeah. she's gonna make too. tons how, of money how does is the big three more financially successful than the W? How can it, the big, might, it might be. How That's, can yeah. the big three afford this? I don't know. It's I a think, great question, but yeah, I, maybe it's just worth the risk. Well, they have way less overhead as well. You have less yeah. players, less teams. True. They still have a TV contract. So, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. It, it doesn't surprise me that they actually are probably on there, equal plane <laughs> with the WNBA. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and again, even if she decides, ah, I'm not doing that. That's a dumb idea. We talked about it this morning. So yeah. that's money well spent already. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. People are going to be talking about it. They we'll paid see. me a lot of money to do this. Right. Thanks. Calm down, Kaylin. <laughs> I would be curious, though, if she if she played in that big three. And I know it's a lot of, you know, it's all, all the ex-professional guys and whatever. They're notable names. And, so, and they the thing is, they still take it serious. Like, how how I, much would they oh, would they physically try to, like intimidate her i think i think they would go out of their way to try to do it more honestly i, I feel I like think, they would be, i feel like obviously the the people that run the big three would be super excited about it but i feel like the players would have a chip on their shoulder about it Hello, yeah but there's lady. also there's also a factor of those players knowing that this is our meal ticket we're on whatever chat maybe we're on abc that's why they don't i mean that that goes back to when the nhl back in the 80s got their big tv deal I know for a fact all of the owners got together and were like, "We're not hammering on Wayne Gretzky. He's our meal ticket. Yeah. He gets us on TV. Yeah. That would it would probably be, in my guess, a similar thing. Don't take cheap shots at her. Don't 
all that because that then there there's way more exposure with her in the league. I I agree. I think that's the oh, right. Thanks, ap- I think that's the right approach. I think it's the right approach. I just don't I know agree. if players exactly really sure give but, an f about the big threes bottom line because you would think the same thing in the MLS like with Messi he plays but every other team is trying to take him out constantly. The center. <laughs> well, no, this, this is a, maybe a bad hockey. analogy, but that Jack Golke from um, Subway, o- uh, Oakland, whatever, last week, right? That was just jacking up all those threes. And then we saw that stat that he shot something like eight two point shots all year long, right? Well, so he goes off for 30 something in round one. Then in round two, they had somebody following him, face guarding him the entire time because they realized, well, he's never going to drive. Yep. Let's just pretend. That your only job is to get right in his face. I, to Max's point, I think you would have former NBA players going, she can't score in the post on us. We just can't let her shoot threes. I'm just going to stay on her the whole time, and yeah. then she's going to be neutralized. I think that would be the player's mentality. Sauce is right from a corporate perspective. Cube's going to be like, let her shoot. Correct. Yeah, she's, getting, Correct. she's getting right. every whistle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Give her five feet Correct. at least. Give her some space Thank back you. there. But uh, it would be an interesting war between the players and the and the league. Well, I love Who it. Knows? I hope she decides to. That'd be fun, man. It's good but bit. that's the other thing I think she has to think about is like you got to think about the longevity of what what decision you're going to make. If you if you get paid what you said five million by or we say ten million five million five million by the five million by the big three, and it lasts one year because it just doesn't work out. Yeah. I mean, yes, she can go back to the WNBA, but then like, but now what? Like now you you've kind of like you've lost some steam, you've lost some momentum. You know, you tried to do something that people haven't done before, and people are going to knock you down for that. And now yeah. you've got to kind of start all over again and, like, reprove yourself in the WNBA. Not untrue. And, we'll then, you, and then all of a sudden you put a bigger target on your back because yeah. all the, then all the women that you're playing against in the WNBA are like, oh, you thought you were too good for us. Money grab, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, who knows? She's in a tough spot, but again, a lot of good options still. Yes, for sure. Uh, headlines next. More with Ben Lieber after this on The Fan. The Fan. KFAN Total Traffic. From the Quick Trip Traffic Center, here's a... platform helps you attract Meat Sauce here for my friends at St. Croix Casino Turtle Lake, the best place to bet on sports and the shortest sports betting drive from the Twin Cities. You can also go to the Red Zone in Danbury. Wonderful. Both of them are great. You can also do all the things you want to do. Craps, roulette, no limit. Texas told them you can do all that. There's some basketball this weekend. There's some good golf in two weeks. There's a lot going on. A lot of things to bet on. You can do with my friends at St. Croix Casino Turtle Lake. Check out all you need at GoPlayWin.com. That's GoPlayWin.com. St. Croix Casino Turtle Lake. Find your fortune. Buy it. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Ben's appearance is sponsored by Lexus of Wyzetta and Maplewood. Join the power trip in the Parlay Lounge at Treasure Island Resort and Casino March 28th and March 29th for your chance to win a trip to Las Vegas and other great prizes, including a 65-inch Vizio Smart TV, JBL Flip 6 speaker, Beat Solo 3 headphones, an iPad, AirPods, and more. On Thursday, March 28th, Lucky Rubes will compete to win a trip for two to Las Vegas by playing initials. And Friday morning, March 29th, the power trip will be broadcasting live with another chance to win a trip for two to Las Vegas. Details at KFN.com, keyword Vegas. See you March 28th and 29th at Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. 
Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download DROP now for free on the App Store or Google Play. If you're a Twin Cities contractor, make sure you check out the service-based lumberyard known as Catalyst Supply and check out the website catalystsupplyco.com. They are absolutely capable of taking your company to the next level. Catalyst Supply is a service-based lumberyard made up of former contractors and installers just like you that have decided to support others. They want to help you uh, start and finish your projects. It doesn't matter if it's windows, deck, metal roofing projects. They're going to be there from start to finish. All the solutions, all the supplies, all in one place. Tell them I sent you, and uh, they're going to hook you up on your first project. Again, the website is CatalystSupplyCo.com and Catalyst Supply. From the Your Boat Club Weather Center. This report is sponsored by Visit Fort Myers. Explore art and culture throughout the islands, beaches, and neighborhoods of Fort Myers. Discover historic landmarks, browse art galleries, and enjoy live theater performances. Direct flights arrive daily from Minneapolis. Plan your trip at visitfortmyers.com. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 7 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. The guaranteed cash offer is filled with benefits that you will love. Hi, I'm Chris Lindahl, and I want to share with you a short list of just a few things you don't have to worry about when you get an offer from us. There are no commissions, no repairs, no decluttering, and no showings. It's that simple. We'll even give you a cash offer the same day we meet. If you need to sell fast, then you should go to chrislindahl.com right now to get your guaranteed cash offer and start packing. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Hey, it's Hockey here for my friends at Builders and Remodelers. You looking to save big on your next home improvement project? You're in luck. Right now, Builders and Remodelers is offering home show special savings on any roofing, siding, door, or window project. Like buy one window, get your second window half off. Plus, home show special savings of an additional $50 off on each Elements triple pane window. The highest rated window in the industry. Best products, great prices, professionally installed by Builders and Remodelers for over 70 years. Go to buildersandremodelers.com. Nobody does it better. The Bear Lot in Moundsview is closing, so everything must go now. Used cars, trucks, and SUVs are up to 50% off MSRP. Plus, all Suzuki bikes and ATVs up to 50% off MSRP. Plus, $20 oil changes. Don't wait. It all ends March 30th at thebearlot.com. You've heard about the thousands of patients finally getting relief from chronic joint pain thanks to QC Kinetics non-invasive treatments. And here's one who was determined to avoid surgery. Meet Vicki. The orthopedic surgeon said, well, you're going to need knee replacement soon. 
sooner rather than later. I kept hearing commercials about QC Kinetics and thought, well, I'm going to check them out first. QC Kinetics has treated over 20,000 patients like Vicki around the country. People who were told they needed surgery but chose a more natural, less invasive approach that uses regenerative treatments to help heal and restore painful joints with no downtime. If QC Kinetics had not been what I expected, I would have gone through with the surgery, but I got so much relief and now pretty much pain-free that I don't have to have the surgery. Before going under the knife, you need to check out QC Kinetics. The consultation is free. Call today. Call QC Kinetics, 612-254-7123. That's 612-254-7123. 612-254-7123. Fan forecast. Sunny and 33 today. Wild Sharks, tonight at 7 on the radio home of the Wild, FM 100.3 KFAN, The Fan. Your Minnesota Timberwolves are on the road to the playoffs, and you could be there for every electrifying moment. Head over to our contest page to find out how you can join their playoff priority access and register for a chance to win a grand prize of tickets to every home Timberwolves playoff game for the 2024 NBA playoffs. That's KFAN.com keyword contest to enter. A. Hey. Thanks, Sacco. Final few minutes here with Ben Lieber. Thank you, Ben. You're welcome. Glad you're back. Yeah, it's good to see you guys. I missed you guys. Aw. And, 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 and I know that we talked about this a little bit earlier, but I, I, but a big thank you for filling in when I was gone. So oh, thank you, Hawk. Thank you. It was so much fun. What yeah, was really the enjoyed. feedback when uh, when Chris was gone, when you asked people behind the scenes at Twin Cities Live, like, Please how did Chris actually truth. do? What was the feedback? Oh. Um, I'll have a different story once my mic goes off. Thank you so um, much, yeah. Be kind. Please. Yes. No, everybody everybody loves you. Uh, They're all like, he's just so funny. He's just so fun. And, like, uh-huh. you know, a couple of, um, one of the gals, like, I, she's like, I knew he was a good singer, but I didn't realize he was that good. Oh. So, That's yeah. great. Thank you. Thank you all. I, I enjoyed it. It's fun. Did they see Elizabeth is gone this week or something? She died? Oh, right. Uh, she was out on Tuesday because okay. she had uh, she took a family day. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So who did you have fill in then? Kelly or something? Or Kelly. Who? Kelly was yeah. in? She's great. Yeah. I love Elizabeth, but she was also great. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell her that too. Yeah, nice. wow. Wow. A lot you of praise. Very, you guys are very complimentary. Good show, man. Today. They do a good job. You, do a good, you do a good job. Thank you. All, all right. right. Now it's time for Headlines. Headlines brought to you by our friends at Wolf River Electric. You can go solar. It's really simple. You can save some money. You know what I'm saying? Go solar with Wolf River. Wolf River Electric. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Let's see. What do I want to start with? Oh, all right. This is worth starting with. Uh, Bill Maher has a new podcast network because Mm. podcast networks just crush, right? Sure. Sure. Printing money. Podcast networks. All of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ours is dominating. Uh, Bill Maher started a new podcast network, and two of the hosts in his network, Billy Corgan of the Smashing Pumpkins. Okay. Interesting. And Fred Durst of Limp Bizkit. Oh, hell yeah. Fred's show is going to be about UFOs and aliens. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> That's awesome. Really? Good. I got to Somebody will out. finally get to the bottom of it then. And, and I'll tell you again, uh, when Fred Durst was on with Bill Maher last year on his podcast, it's worth your time. It's fascinating. He, he breaks huh. down how... Biscuit was just a joke. He was just having fun. He was screwing around. He was making fun of people that he hated in high school. Yeah. And that hated him and then bullied him and it just worked. I just I think that's revisionist history. It might be, but but you you gotta listen to it though, because it is really and Fred's very like um uh I don't know, he's well spoken. He's he's kinda humbled. Like it's the opposite of what you would think he is. So maybe it's just more performance art. Yeah, right, right. It might be, but uh, I would go back and listen. If you've ever liked Limp Bizkit for a second, Bill Maher and Fred Durst last year, that podcast is an hour of your time. Wasn't it's he, definitely uh, worth it. The people, in, uh, the guys in Corn, wasn't he their tattoo artist? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. For sure. Yeah. Uh, back-to-back nights of bad sleep. Hi. Make you, Uh-oh. exactly, make you uh, feel four years older than you are. Ooh. Yeah. Sometimes I think it's more than that. Yeah, a study found that something like back-to-back nights makes the equivalent of uh, us feel four years older. However, the opposite goes. If you can basically go a month with good sleep, a month straight, you can feel up to five years younger. Wow. And I don't know if you guys have experienced this, too. When you go a a couple days with not getting the proper amount of sleep, boy, my eating habits just go. That is correct. Oh, my God. Zero willpower. Yeah. I just eat whatever I see. Butt bar. How do you quantify how many years older you feel? 
That's a great question. Don't, don't know. know. That's a good question. I don't feel 29. I don't feel 20. Good question. Hmm. What do you feel? Good question. I don't feel years, man. <laughs> Are you high again? <laughs> oh, you're going to go on brother. Fred's podcast. Yeah, <laughs> you're high again. <laughs> Real deep. A sheriff's office in Washington. Thanks. What else is name? Hey. Fonz. 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 Thank you. Fonz. <laughs> hey. 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 Listen, hey. I haven't had a good night's sleep in three years. Hey. Uh, yeah. uh, they posted an update on Facebook about a guy who called and asked if he is allowed to hunt Sasquatch. It's a Tim he said he's going to be coming in from out of town in April and wanted to know if Bigfoot hunting is legal there. And if so, does he need a special license? Great question. Yeah. Does he? Just go to any Walmart and get your Sasquatch tag. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, they told him it was more of a question for the Fish and Wildlife Office, but uh, he said he already called them, uh, and uh, they referred him to them. No kidding. Oh. Huh. Poor guy's getting the runaround. Yeah. yeah. I call family services because you're going to be killing Harry and the Henderson. I know. Yeah. Poor yeah. Harry. Yeah, poor Harry. Mm-hmm. I got to think Washington State and Oregon probably get that question once in a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, of yeah. course. What yeah. Are, I wonder how often, like, in northern Minnesota it's, that question gets asked. It's a big thing in northern Minnesota. I, don't, I bet it's a lot more hunting. than you think. Yeah. It's way more than you think. Hmm. Do we have... Bigfoot? I, I don't want to say Bigfoot sightings in yeah. northern Minnesota, sure. but... I'm sure we do. How sure. prevalent are... Uh, Complaints or reports. I don't yeah. know if complaints is the right word. Get him out of my yard. Uh, That's the Tim Peasley factor. Well, I would bet it's more than you think. Yeah, but I'm asking. I like. Do we have? Is, is there somebody that keeps track of that? Is there a ledger yeah, somewhere I'm sure with? There is. Oh yeah, yeah I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, there's several. Or I remember I was gonna do a story about it when I was in college. There's several like organizations, I guess you could call, that are dedicated to finding Bigfoot in Minnesota. Okay, so let me ask you right. guys a question. What do you think is more? Maybe it's a stupid comparison. Do you think there's been more UFO sightings in northern Minnesota or more Bigfoot sightings reported? Oh, good question. Probably I feel Bigfoot. Like, I, f- I feel like UFOs. I, I feel like most. I feel like UFOs in general. There's probably more. Anytime you see any type of light yep. that flashes in the sky, it, it at least crosses your mind. Way easier to make a UFO mistake. Sure. Uh, That's Max. why I was thinking. I was thinking the same thing. Okay. But I'll tell you what. These things here, the phones. That you know, over the years of searching for Bigfoot, these have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the government is trying to hide them from us. Why? Because they've yet to capture. We would have had a photo of it, and I'm sure that anybody who does take a photo of it gets, uh, you know, the whole van pulled up uh, beside them, and get they get whacked. Oh, I just found a list. Uh, there's a whole. There's 77 total counties in Minnesota that have reported a Bigfoot See? sighting. Hmm. It even says last posted. Someone saw him in Cass County, 2023. Oh, I've been there. Watch yeah. out. Yeah. He's lurking. You, you think it's the same coming. Bigfoot? Do you think it's a family of big feet? No, it's a family, man. They're just traveling around. What do you think they're doing, Paul? I think they're looking for places to go where they won't be followed by the paparazzi. Why do they hate paparazzi mm. so much? Because uh, he keeps yelling beats at them. How many are there? <laughs> in the world or in Minnesota? Uh, in Minnesota. You said it's just one family of yeah, big feet? Yeah, but there's 10 of them. There's 10 of them. Yeah. Oh. I so big, big feet are horny. So how do they? Well, that's my question. How do they repopulate then? Do brothers and sisters in this family have to fornicate? No, this guy. Has to I mean, we had to back in the day. <laughs> this guy so is you had, and your family. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> wow. no. Like uh, Adam and Eve. And yeah, they were dad. White bears messed up, man. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Why do you think that the uh, the Sasquatch would want us not to know that they exist? That's a good question because, like, they clearly don't. Like, they're not like. Right. Dumb animals where they're just wandering around getting Clearly. hit by cars. Clearly, yeah, yeah. Clearly. Right. Absolutely. So they obviously That's a good point. Have... They've also never been hit by cars. They're sentient. Is that the word? What? Sentient. 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 No, what is that? Sentient. He's what right. Does they're that sentient. Mean? Especially in this day and age where everybody wants to feel seen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like, how did they not start an Instagram yet? Do they right. know what day of the I week w- it is? I wonder how woke <laughs> these Sasquatch are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. They know it's not the weekend. They yeah. just don't well, know it's Thursday. Yeah. Oh, man. Man. I can't feel my face when I'm with How has there not been like a Sasquatch OnlyFans yet? That seems like a good market. And, and if they know not to find us, I don't think you should shoot them then because they're damn near human. How do we train them to be Navy SEALs? Oh, man. Can you imagine? Yeah, man, that would <laughs> How be terrifying. Man. Well, you'd never see them. I think it's obvious they're they're uh, against war. Yeah. All kinds. I bet <laughs> they are. Yeah. 
I don't think they're very good swimmers, though, Corey. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, Can they swim? You think they do drugs? They're amazing snipers. Do you think they're racist? Oh. Uh, Against other animals. Yeah. Yeah. They hate pigeons. They hate polar bears. Man, do they hate polar bears? Yeah. The damn honky bears? (laughs) (laughs) Leave the white white bears alone, man. By the way, the honky bears are playing the film more on. (laughs) They're very good. They're very good. Copyright Zach Halverson. Yeah, Rosie can't wait. Multi-witness daylight sighting three and a half miles southeast of Six Mile Lake, October 2023. There you go. Yep, sounds See? legit. Oh, Chippewa National Forest, your own walker. Yep. What? It was on a TV show, apparently. Oh. Yeah. A diaper <laughs> company in Japan plans to stop making them for babies and start making them for adults because birth rates have been plummeting. Hmm. Oh, yeah. it's. <laughs> Wait, say yeah. that again? Can, what? can we get one shipped to the studio? Oh, a <laughs> diaper <laughs> company in Japan yeah. plans to stop making the diapers for babies and start making them for adults because birth rates have been plummeting. It oh, I get you. Age difference in their population. It's yeah. uh, it's insanity. Like there's yeah, there's there's way, way, way more old people than there's there are young people. Or, or, or maybe that's just their kink. Maybe nationally that is like it turns people on to see adults yeah. in diapers. And I think that sucks, but again, kink shaming is my thing. Yeah, that's right. So correct. Yeah. Don't yeah. judge me. If I need adult diapers at some point in my life, I probably will. It's gonna be like need to be the size of a parachute. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You it's like my lot. God. Would I fill up a normal size one? Oh, How good of a size. job do they do? <laughs> Why don't you try it out and get back to us? <laughs> yes. Are they leaky? It doesn't make any sense how, like, you could do that and then not leak out. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Well, yeah. patience, yeah. Zachary, yeah. patience. Uh, yeah. Ben, I know you got to go, so end on this one. People are eating oats to lose oh, weight. Mm. <laughs> All right, Jart. People are eating oats to lose weight and well, calling the it hole. the... Oat Zempic oh, challenge. <laughs> oh, disgusting! Oat Zempic. Oat Zempic. Oat Oh wow, that's funny. Hey, could you? Pl- by the way, uh, I just said uh, we get in on this, but this is more important. Forget about oats. Could you play that button again? The oh good. Oh good. It, Zach, you're not alone. Twitter is. I don't hear it at all. Very divided between Charch and PA. It's definitely PA. On who's who? Like yeah. On whose voice, voice what? that is. Yeah. Who it's, do you think oh, it is? No, that's PA. Who do you say, think it is? Say it again. Oh, good. That's PA. It is yeah. PA. 100% PA. I, I, yeah. I, I, there, I hear there, charge every This time. is like the, uh, the, oh, the dress. brainstorm green needle or whatever. Yeah, was that yeah. What that's was that what called? it was, yeah. It's like it almost, sometimes whatever you tell yourself yeah. in your head, you can hear it, but... I'm. I would bet three months mortgage. That's PA. But there oh. are a lot of people on Twitter going. I'm with Zach. That's charge. No. He's not alone. I think he's wrong, but he's not alone. The well, the last part of it is PA's. Yes. All of PA's bits. I the, agree. The, I agree. All of it. It's One his more time. cadence. It's all of it. Oh, good. 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 Yeah. Good. yeah. And like yeah. the little grunt. That's, yeah. that's, that is PA. It's the guttural yeah. little grunt. Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. good. Yeah. yeah. Zach, so you're still shaking your I, head? I still, like, even when I think PA, I still hear charge. Well, you're stupid. And so, <laughs> well, hey, listen. D's nuts says not PA. So oh, No, well. it just says not pop. Hey, That's have not- Nordo really quickly. Nordo. Nordo. Come here for a sec. I mean, He's, if anyone lo- would know. He loaded it in. It's yeah. Nordo. Yeah. Right there. Hey, this could be wait. a mystery did you, solver. Did you see that Sasquatch movie yet? What's up? Throw yeah, your yeah, throw your yeah. headset on. Maybe you've heard us debate this in the last uh, day or two. You know the oh good, oh good. The uh, the soundbite here. Chris is gonna play this. These headphones are sweaty. Well, Zach's. <laughs> hey, we're gonna play a soundbite. You tell us who this is, okay? Ready. Go ahead. Oh good. Yeah, that's my guy. Which one? PA. Oh good. A hundred percent sure that's Paul Allen. I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure. Is there is the point one percent Paul Charchian? Oh, good. It's not high pitched enough. That's exactly what <laughs> yeah. 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 so so you can, you can hear it's that, that guttural the way. That's, that's exactly just, what that's we just what said. A hundred percent. Yes. All of us here, except for Zach and some people on Twitter, think it's PA. He's convinced it's charge, and some people on Twitter are like, no, that's charge. Well, so I have heard this before. Now, my, my question is, where did you guys get it from? Is there somebody here that has the right answer? Uh, we it, thought it would be labeled you. PA. Because I I I didn't pull that. Bye guys. See you. Bye man. bye. bye man. Love you. So no, that's that's absolutely my guy. Yeah, that's that's yeah, Zach. 100%. You just got to give up the ghost. Like that's not charge. Yeah. <laughs> and sanitize oh, good. your headphones. That's okay. Oh good. You know why? Oh good. Sweaty Tommy. 
It ain't Zach Owen. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. It's not they Zach were sweaty Owen. when I put them on. Bye, Ben. Point. Oh, Bye, yeah. guys. Bye, Bye, Ben. There he goes. Bye, ben. Zach, does that help you at all? Do you still oh, good. maintain that that's charged? I mean, I want to hear PA, but I just I can't. But that's because well, my is brain he? is... Let's uh, have him do it. It's in the wrong key. <laughs> it really is. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway... Interesting. I'm. Uh, I, I don't hear it at all as sounding like charts. So I do love as much as you think it does sound like it. I think it doesn't sound like it. You know what I mean? How Nordo described it exactly like we did. Guttural. Guttural. Mm-hmm. Title of the Good. podcast. All right, let's go through a, a couple of headlines here. A couple of them are serious, and then the one at the end is not um, at all. I just think it's ridiculous. But um, so they did find a couple of bodies. Uh, the bridge disaster in Baltimore. They found a couple of people that were submerged in a pickup truck. And trapped Jeez, inside of a pickup truck. That What a nightmare. Man. Awful. Uh, the bridge disaster could cost insurers $4 billion. Man, I don't know if you've seen the, the press wow. conferences the last couple of days. As soon as you start thinking about it, because I just didn't the first 24 hours, it makes a ton of sense. The rescue effort was super dicey because of all the other things that could go wrong, right? Yeah. Other things collapsing, whether or not the cargo was secure on the ship. There's so many moving parts. Like, how wow. are we even going to get down there? Yeah. And look, and then the other thing that I hadn't thought about until yesterday was the massive undertaking to clean this up. Yeah. It's not just, oh, well, we'll back the boat out and start piecing, you know, taking the bridge apart piece by piece. It's going to take forever. Yes, it what is. What a mess. And it sounds like they have completely given up um, on the other four or six bodies, uh, at least for now. Mm-hmm. Uh I shouldn't say giving up uh, uh, on the search for the bodies. In fact, the mayor said the opposite, right? Or maybe it was the governor said the opposite, that everyone knows these people have passed, but we still want to give families the closure. We're going to do everything we can to safely find the bodies as as quickly as possible. But, involved, exactly. Yeah. What a freaking nightmare. Awful. My gosh. All so right. Awful. Now, on that topic, but still, just shake your head at this one, Zacho. A, a former New York uh, Police Department cop named Bill Stanton was on CNN talking about the bridge collapse. And then also, what to do if you're ever in a uh, car that is submerged in water? <laughs> and he felt the need to tell people, do not start filming a TikTok. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you want to hear the audio of the guy? Because yeah. he's pissed, man. He's just, he can't believe it. We live in a society now when what's the first, anytime there's an emergency, what's the first thing people do? They take out their cell phone and they want to film it. No, no, no. Do these dress rehearsals in your mind. I call them fire drills for life. Listen, we have so many things that come up. Active shooters, plane emergencies. This is another one to add to the list. Just spend a couple of dollars. That makes sense. Have that seatbelt cutter. Have that glass break. You know, sway yourself away. So God forbid this happens. You're good to go. Hmm. Can you imagine pulling out your phone if you were submerged yeah. in water? There's a family guy bit where a bus, go, a school bus goes into a river and Jeez. all the kids die and whatever. Wow. Yeah, uh, but wow. they read on <laughs> the news. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. Well, it's a family guy bit. It's not, it's, <laughs> it's animated kids. Okay. Jeez. But they, oh, they, oh, sorry, oh, Mr. Oh, thanks for wow. bringing it down for the, me there. Oh, the, oh, they're they're animated. The, uh, the news story on it has, they show like, uh, they read a bunch of tweets from the kids as they're going mm. down and stuff. But I, I can't imagine that is, is that, that's not true. Like there, there's nobody in their right mind. Who no, would it's, be in probably, that situation. it's probably yeah. more conceptual, but that is, you know, I, I, until you're in that spot. Don't you all? I think a lot of us think, oh, I would either just kick the window out or something. Yeah. It's with the pressure down right. there. Correct. I, I don't have a uh, a glass breaker in my glove compartment, right? Who no. does? Who does? I've heard no. your headrest or something can help. Yeah, like you pull the headrest out and the it's designed or something. But the the MythBusters episode on cars going underwater and trying to get out is terrifying because it is a difficult, difficult task. And uh, if if you wait too long, so get out there quickly if you can, and don't TikTok. As if you what were is, going. Why are you so, why are you so why, pissed? Yeah, what why are you mad at? Who hurt you? People, yeah, who hurt you? Just the this people TikToking while they're struggling. It's not to, what, what their are, what's fault your that your headphones today? are sweaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they want some engagement, today? Zacho. Yeah, Zacho. Just wanted some likes. All right, check this out. You guys ready? <laughs> sure, baby. We're at TI tonight, seven to nine. And then we're at TI tomorrow, 5.30 to 9, live on the air. Hell yeah, First initials major of the year. It's going to be sweet. We have so many things to give away the next uh, couple of days, whether you come see us tonight or tomorrow morning. We have 
tickets to Dave Attell at Treasure Island. Wow. Larry the Cable Guy at Treasure Island. Uh, First Wrestling Presents Hot Streak at Treasure Island. Oh, oh, Gabriel yeah. Iglesias tickets at Treasure Island. Creed tickets on the line. I'm rocking mm. Whoa. Uh, steal those. Play and stay packages at TI with a bunch of free slot play and blackjack match play and stuff, play and stuff like that. Uh, an iPad, AirPods, uh, Beat Solo 3 headphones, JBL Flip uh, 6 speakers, Branded Bills Power Trip hats. Yeah. Uh, $100 Branded Bills gift cards. Of course, tonight the uh, creme de la creme is the. Uh, trip for two to Las Vegas. Whoever wins initials tonight gets a trip for two to Las Vegas with the Power Trip Morning Show. Thanks to our friends at Treasure Island Resort and Casino. We have a 65-inch Vizio smart TV and then an, nice. another random draw tomorrow for a trip to two to Las Vegas, Nevada. So tickets. Oh, and and, and a really cool idea, a $500 uh, free slot play up for grabs as well. Right, Zach? So that's a done deal? Yeah, that guy can yes. Oh, good, good, good. That's oh, going to be We're going to play some fun. games. It's going to be yeah. fun. Yeah, we good got some, we got some new twists uh, tonight at the at uh, yeah. uh, Parlay Lounge 7 and 9. Tonight will be just as fun, if not more fun, than tomorrow. They're both going to be badass. I, mean, I agree. For different reasons. Different reasons. Yeah. Tonight, I think, is going to be the best TI Thursday night show that this show has ever done. You're not in a bad mood anymore? I heard a rumor I've never that, been in a bad that one of Martin Moistu's uh, draft picks is going to be there. Oh, really? The running back that he talked about. Which was? Peace on. Oh, he's going to be there? I believe he's coming tonight. Yeah, wow, He's man. not working out or having a pro day or anything? No, no. He's no. taking the oh, night man. off just to come watch the power trip at Treasure Island. He wants yeah. those, uh, those Creed tickets. I was going to say, I don't know if we can have Martin on again because he's in prison. But uh, it'd be great to have him on as we get closer to the draft. Well, and of course, bigger than any of those prizes. How about just lost in the shuffle? Somebody might win sixty-two thousand dollars tomorrow if they just guess the jackpot. Yeah, right, man. Just sixty-two. Do we have three chances too? You good point, Zacho. Six fifteen, seven fifteen, and eight fifteen. So three people get to call in and have a crack at it tomorrow at sixty-two thousand dollars. Although if the first person gets it, then it goes all the way back down to five hundred dollars, which is good for hour two. We'll be, we'll celebrate. That. But that's a start. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. My turn? Go. All right, guy. Go. Uh, Steven Spielberg says Dune 2 is one of the most brilliant sci-fi films he's ever seen. That's a huge compliment. Yeah, he said something about, like, Thank very you. few directors are world builders and uh, yeah. Denny. Well, I, can't, I don't know his last name. He said he's one of them. And I, I agree. I mean, Dune, Dune 1 was okay. It yeah. didn't do a whole lot for me. Dune 2 was freaking phenomenal. I have not stopped it. thinking about it since I saw it. So good. Have you seen it yet, Cor? Nope. But uh, again, watch the first one with the intention of going to see the second one. So yep. definitely one. And I'm definitely, definitely going to get that popcorn bucket. You're damn right. Yeah, <laughs> it's still there. Put your hands down. Yep, it's still there. How much is it? Uh, no, is it like 20 bucks? Does it matter? Can I ask you a question? Do you have to see the movie or can you just buy the bucket? You can buy them. I think you the can just buy yeah. There's yeah. plenty of people that go yeah. in and just buy popcorn and leave. I mean, I wonder if I could get it before I go to TI tonight. <laughs> Speaking of movies, Slime Godzilla. Uh, <laughs> what? Hey, quiet, everybody. He's about to talk to, about Godzilla. And Godzilla and Kong, the new empire, is expected to get off to a monster start at the Hell box yeah. office. Oh, I get it. The fifth film in the MonsterVerse franchise is expected to uh, make between fifty and fifty-five million dollars in its debut weekend in theaters. It's projected to make uh, between eighty and eighty-five overseas as well. A new Empire will easily take first place over films uh, including last week's Ghostbusters: The Frozen Empire. Uh, anybody see that? No. I don't no. know anybody no. who saw that film. No. Me neither. I think it's one of those films that this week is just going to take a giant drop. Dump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true hockey. Oh. I am a true hockey. Yeah, maybe. Uh, rates of sexually trans <laughs> right. <laughs> rates of sexually transmitted diseases are skyrocketing among older Americans. This week, oh, Rosie. All right, uh, Court. Wow, why? Are no, you- good for Rosie. Yeah, uh, have at it. Who cares? Right. This Light week, the place the, uh, up. No, why not? Literally, uh, mm. um, this week the CDC revealed rates of chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphy in people of fifty-five or more. Um, over 55, more than double in the U.S. between 2012 and 2022. God, old people are just hamming, hammering just each other. Bang. And hamming. And hamming. Yeah, <laughs> hamming. Yeah, double hamming. Right, right, with their ham radios. Uh, in those 10 years, rates of SIFI among seniors increased sevenfold. Factors driving up rates of STDs include horniness <laughs> and longer <laughs> lifespans and those little blue pills that make it. Yep, we get it. Diamond yep. cutters. Wow, your mic is on. <laughs> I'm not mic is on. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, that was real good. Huh? Thanks, Mr. Real Miyagi. Good. 
That was real good. You guys are funny today. Oh, thanks. thanks, man. And finally, Amazon is launching a same-day medication prescription delivery service in two major cities. Uh, the scripts will be offered in Los Angeles, New York City, uh, through Amazon's online pharmacy service, which launched in 2020. Imagine that. Same-day prescription delivery service coming soon to a city near you. How badass is it going to be is when, when Amazon starts dropping uh, prescriptions via drone, yeah, right? Yeah. So they're just flying drugs. Yep. And then we just got methods just shooting them down and seeing what they get. Yeah, that's a good right? point, Like man. a jack oh in God, the box. I yeah. about that. Wow. Or like Cracker Jack box. I mean, you know, just yeah. shoot it down and see what you get. Oh, man, steroids. Oh, man, I please. the good uh, stuff. Uh, please, I'll take them. Zach, your hands up. Go for men's hockey tonight. Good luck. They're playing Omaha in the NCAA tournament. Twin Cities and New Stock AM 1130. 103.5 FM at Nobody cares. Go, go Gophers. Go Gophers. Yeah, go Gophers. Go Nobody Gophers. cares. I care, tonight, man. Treasure Island 7 to 9. Come see the Power Trail morning show. And then tomorrow night, or sorry, tomorrow morning, 5.30 to 9. It's going to be sweet. Again, first initials major of the year. Another trip for two to Las Vegas. So much going on. Zach makes his major debut. Creasel makes his major debut. A Rube gets to play. It's going to be super fun. Come see us at CI. Uh, nine to noon is next. Oh, good. He's okay. next. Zach, he's next. Everybody have a wonderful day. Taco Bell's new cravings. I've been uh... and kick your feet up, and in about 15 minutes, we'll give you that uh, that number. Uh, that's what they do. And uh, they might surprise you with a number. It doesn't matter if you think your vehicle's worth thousands of dollars or tens of thousands of dollars. Luther wants to see it. Luther wants to make you an offer. 